There's going to be some swears in this video that's got to get beeped out. Finally, some Fox body content on the 8-9 garage. In this episode, we're going to be putting a drive line in Frankie. And the reason for that is, I put a narrow star drive line in it. I don't know if that made it in any of my earlier videos or not, but it has a drive line out of an arrow star. And it has a little damage to it. I damaged it when I was installing one of the U-joints. It's not horrible. It's definitely still usable i've been using it for a while but frankie is going on a 200 mile trip next weekend um, frankie's going to be in a parade so we need to get this fixed and remedied just so i have peace of mind that everything's going to be okay i'm going to pull this out and show you what we're putting in it and i will also show you the damage that i caused the aerostar driveline this makes me a little nervous i'm telling you right now so we're gonna open it up and see oh, that's cool it's got a spicer yoke i'm gonna pull this all the way out real quick okie dokie luckily this looks okay spicer u-joints the yoke said spicer on it too where the heck that go right there this looks quite a bit like the one in eight nine color me impressed uh, we're going to use this to plug off the hole temporarily while we bring out the Aerostar and compare it to this. Just so you know, if you see me, if that gets in the video where I plug this in the back of the trance, I'm just trying to keep it from leaking. I've already taken the time to go ahead and put this thing up in the air. Two jack stands and a floor jack to support it. Obviously got wheel chocks up front to keep it from going forward or backwards. I suggest you take all the precautions that you deem necessary for your car. Well, all right, it looks like uh, this is a smart move. I got to put in a plug for the channel right here. Please hit the subscribe button, like button. Help me get in the YouTube algorithms a little bit better than I am. And I'd really like to hit 3,000 subs here as soon as possible. That would be really handy. And... Uh, your comments are also fantastic. I would really like to know what drive lines you guys have experience with. What are you running now? Have you had any negative experiences with drive lines? I think I got one of them joints that's uh, throwing out some crap on the muffler there. Looks like those might need a little snugging up. We can do that while we're under here. Oh, for piss sakes. My goal right here is to break these free. I'm probably gonna have to go and rotate this thing. Oh man. I'm gonna get up there and put this in neutral so I can rotate the drive line around so we can get the bolts that are on the top there. put it back in gear now. Holy crap, that's tight. Hey, try this one. <clears throat> All right, part brakes involved now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get my impact out. There we go. Oh, whew. Let's 
time for my secret weapon for doing these things. This thing here is so good for doing these driveline bolts. If you're wondering why I'm doing this in a closed garage, we have 45 mile an hour winds today. And I've had the garage open a couple times and everything likes to uh, relocate today. All right, so if you're looking at this for a how-to also, after you got these four out, a lot of times these are stuck to the flange and you gotta hit them right here with a hammer. But this one here I can feel is not stuck to the flange. So you take this, push it forward towards the front of the car, drop it down, and then pull towards the back of the car. And about, I don't know, four or five inches out, it'll, it'll just come out. And I hope to hell that that other one fits in here now that I'm looking at this. The way I ran this exhaust might be a little bit tight. Okay, there they are, side by side. The Jags is definitely a little bit bigger round, more girth. So that's a factory Aerostar driveline, and it does require a U-joint to accept the Fox body flanges, but other than that, uh, same length. Oh, and then let's get to where I wasn't comfortable with using this. If you look, uh, when I was getting, when I was hammering out the U-joint from the other side, it got caught on the end of this coming through and it messed up that flange. But ever since that happened, it's been on my mind that this is not a long-term solution. So let's go ahead and slap this one in there. put that right there oh, freak come on damn it don't want to force it Why, why the hell's everything a pain in the butt? Ugh. All right, I'm gonna park that sun gun right there. Cross your fingers, say a prayer. Okay, I'm gonna stick that exhaust back on and just hope like the dickens of this does not rub. Hell yes, not even close. What was I worried about? So I just tightened two bolts and I don't think the damn camera got it. Uh, I just rotated this around. So I'm gonna go back up, put it in gear and also put on the park brake.
<clears throat> all right I think it's in so there we are in the trance and all the way down isn't she beautiful all right I think I can grab all my crap out from under here and we can take her for a little spin We just got back. I didn't talk the whole time we we're driving because I was just enjoying the sounds. But it was the same. <laughs> there wasn't anything wrong with the drive line that was in it. Just that one little spot that was kind of petrifying me a little bit, I guess. And I didn't really feel like uh, causing an issue. Frankie's about to make a 200 mile trip, roughly. And I don't, I just don't want to be on the side of the road with something. It was probably gonna be fine, but my mind is now at ease and that's what matters, right? That's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. You guys are great. Pound the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell me what driveline you're running down below.